Hello everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 MIDI Albums, and I am here to show you the design team project I made for Country Craft Creations. I used the 12x12 collection and a couple of other little things of trail mix from Simple Stories. This is an outdoor themed paper collection with lots of vibrant colors. I'm showing you the 6x8 paper pad because I also got that in the design team project kit and I'll be making something else with this collection next. I also picked up, and you can tell I used some of the packaging for some circle, uh, page pieces. One of them was the outdoors. Uh, I picked up ephemera bits and pieces. I picked up the journal bits and pieces. And also chipboard frames. Now I used a couple of frames and I'll show you how I use them. So here's the cover. So here's one of the frames and then I put another one underneath just to give it a little contrast. There is a lot of patterns in this mini album. I did not supplement it with any plain color cardstock besides white for photo mats. So if it's um, if it seems a little busy, you can substitute plain cardstock. Um, I'm sure some of my colors cardstock would match very well. This is very dimensional. There's two layers to the chipboard. This is a chipboard piece. That's a chipboard piece and that is a chipboard as well. I used some stickers from the sticker sheet and some enamel dots. I did not get the enamel dots that came with the collection, but I suggest that you do. If you're going to pick up this collection, grab those enamel dots because they will look fabulous. This is a nine by five mini album with a two and a quarter inch spine. It has five signatures. I also, when I made it, I was cognizant of utilizing all of the 12 by 12 artisan cardstock in winter white that I used. So there was not any scraps. Well, I mean, there's some scraps, but not very many. I had 15 sheets of uh, the cardstock when I started and I think I have two or sheets left so it didn't take that much cardstock but of course you could add more mats and flaps and folders and whatever you want but the 15 was enough I'm just letting you know so you can check your supply all right and let me show you what's inside so in the front is uh, just a little open pocket there's a little pocket on the pocket this has one of the cut aparts. That's another cut apart on the back. And then these are elements from the journal and then the bits and pieces and a couple of enamel dots that were from my stash. This is from the cut apart. And this is just some of the scrap paper. And these were some of the bits and pieces that I just tied with a string just to the top of that. On the other side, I have a flap but on the flap is another pocket. This is a cut apart that's just cut down. And then these are some of the cut aparts from the collection. This will open like that. This is popped up. I used uh, some chipboard to pop it up. And then here's some photo mats and a spot for journaling. Uh, these are just pieces from the collection. And as you can see, I added some just some dabs of color from the collection. Each page is a top loading pocket. These are three inches wide. This is utilizing paper when we cut it down to make the page. And it gives you opportunity to put a couple of two by two or two by three photos, as well as a great spot for journaling. The back of page one brings us to this flap and that opens like that gives you room for a photo here a journaling spot there and that'll come up like that i probably shouldn't have put it that close but i love these elements on this plaid here's another journaling spot um, the adventure begins i thought it was fun to use the megaphone there thinking of summer camp and uh, how they wake you up if you're in summer camp just thought it was a little bit fun. And then this is a great spot to put photos. This is open, so you could use it as a tuck spot to put your photos, but 
a cup of coffee, a map, and a compass getting you ready for your day. And that belly band was made from one of the 4x6 cut aparts. And then here's a side loading flap, one of the journal bits, some of the bits and pieces, and just another photo mat. A couple of 4x4 four four photo mats, and these are of course open, so you could put your photos in there. Another top loading spot for journaling or for more pictures. And then on this page, whoops, did I skip one? I sure, no I didn't. On this page, we can have a, never have enough nature. All good things are wild and free with some beautiful butterflies, butterflies, flowers. Um, and I just was thinking we can have our, never have enough nature. And to that, I added some bugs, um, some moths and just pretty colorful bugs. This flap opens and that uh, there's a pair of binoculars, a camera and a moth. And then there is a little tuck spot here with another bug. And that says fresh air because, you know, you go out in nature, there are bugs. That will open like that. Lots of color on this page. Uh, this was another cut apart. I just cut around it, added a little bird from bits and pieces. And here's your 4x4 four four photo mat. There's a couple of pockets on this page with just a couple of the cut aparts in them some enamel dots from my collection, and then those were from the bits and pieces. There is the top loading uh, photo mat journal spot, whatever you want to call it. All right, so this color reminds me of a campfire. So here's this four by six cut apart that goes in there and that says outdoors and s'mores, please. And then I did have, um, some bits and pieces of the marshmallow on a stick and a hot dog and a cup of coffee. And then that's a neat little journaling spot. And so is that. There's some matches there, some enamel dots. And then the flashlight is raised up as well. Little canteen. And this could be a spot for a frame or to put a photo on the frame or just add some journaling. And then you can use that to uh, add some more pictures. This is another side loading pocket. And then there's the happy and there's the camper there as well. This one's popped up. These are just backed with some scrap cardstock. And there's our four by four uh, photo mats. You'll, you may notice, you may see that they are made with stitch square or stitch rectangle dies. I just had them in my stash and just use those to add a little oomph to the photo mats. And there's the top loading pocket for that. And then this is just a place to add your photo. I just wanted to put an open frame. You still could put your picture in there. A journaling spot that cut apart says nature. And this camp field notes actually open so you could use that to journal. It's got a teeny little magnet in there. Here's a little flap with a cut apart. It says memories that will fit right in there. And then that opens like that. Small uh, two by two photo mats, a journaling spot. And these of course are open. And there's our top loading uh, photo mat. And that will close. It does have a little magnet keeping it down. And then this will open like that, uh, just a 4x4 four four photo mat, an extra frame just to add a little more dimension. I used a tab punch and then added a sticker that says memories, and that says life's a journey. This is raised up, and then we've got a gusseted pocket here, so there is lots of room to put whatever you have left over. There's the photo mat there that's open so you can use that as a tuck spot. And then that again will close 
it's held in with some jute ribbon twine uh, that you can get from Country Craft Creations as well. There's the back of the mini album. I just used this wood green paper. The other side of it has this beautiful mint green plaid. There is our spine. I just put a simple moth on as decoration on the spine and we are back to the front. I will be showing you a tutorial that is coming up soon. Uh, check in the description box for the link to it or it may be linked up at the top. And that is what I have for you today. So don't forget, this came from Country Craft Creations. This was using Simple Stories, uh, the 12 by 12 paper collection, and a couple of ephemera kits. And that came from Simple Stories. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day.